YouTube and fellow reefers, what's going on? Dan here with Electric Reef, and today I'm going to be dipping some coral using the Bear Advanced Complete Insect Killer. Now, I've seen a few videos online of the whole process and how to do it, and this is just how I do it. Nothing against anybody else's method of doing it, but I feel like some of the other videos left out some really good information that a beginner might want to know about. Now, when I first started dipping, uh, the first mistake I made was I used RODI water rather than uh, pre-mixed salt water. Now, my softies and my LPS, they all survived the RODI Bayer insect killer dip, and I'm glad they did because that would have been a lot of money down the drain. Now, I killed some stuff, and I learned the hard way. When I first started dabbing into the SPS arena, uh, I brought some SPS home, some Montipora, and uh, some other smaller corals, smaller frags, and I used RODI water to dip them in the insect killer. And I killed a lot of stuff. It's the only thing, only one of the corals ended up living, and it started with one tiny little speck on the original coral that pretty much completely died out, and it's growing great now. So, you want to use salt water. You can get away with RODI water for your softies and some of your LPS, but definitely not with SPS. RODI water and Bayer Insect Killer will kill your SPS. So with that being said, I got my pre-mixed salt water at 1.026 heated to 78 degrees, and I got two separate containers for rinsing. So what I'm gonna do here is we got our gloves. You wanna wear gloves, this insect killer stuff's nasty. And uh, you don't wanna get it in your hand, especially if you're going to be sticking your hand in the tank after uh, dipping the coil here. So I got this little tenuous coral from a, one of my favorite uh, reef shops locally here. And uh, he's going to be going in the tank here shortly. So what I'm going to do is to eliminate any problems and not have to deal with this frag plug that's already on here. I'm going to go ahead and brush that off. All right, so I got the piece of coral off the plug there. Probably an easier way to do that, but it is what it is. All right, so now you're gonna to to take your insect killer and you're gonna save the little container with the original water from the core. I use, this is a third cup, I use two thirds cup of insect, the Bayer Insect Killer for every gallon of water. So I poured one gallon of water into this uh, strainer bowl here and I'm going to put uh, two thirds cup insect killer in here kind of a milky white color to it. Have a thick milky consistency also. I put that in there, stir it around a little bit. And once you're done with that, just set that aside. Don't recommend using your wife's strainer or any of her uh, kitchenware. Uh, probably not the best thing you wanna be cooking your food in. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the little frag I'm going to put it here right inside the insect killer. I'm going to let it sit there for a minute or two. So while it's in there, I'm going to kind of shake it around a little bit, uh, get some flow on it, and just kind of really try and clean anything out. And basically what you're trying to do is, if you, there's any red bugs or any pests on there, or some acro-eating uh, uh, nudies, you want to get rid of those. Now, some of the coral I've dipped before, some nasty stuff have come off of them. I've had serpent starfish come off of them, uh, other little teeny tiny speck of bugs. Now, the one thing that you're not really going to be able to get off here if it's already on there is, let's say, nudibranch eggs. Those things will be stuck on there. The insect killer is not going to kill the eggs, but it will kill the actual nudibranchs and whatever pests are on there themselves. So what it does is, it doesn't necessarily kill them right away, it uh, pretty much paralyzes them uh, and helps them let go of the coral. So when you get done doing this, uh, you can slowly pour the 
insect killer water out of here and see what is floating around in the bottom of the container. So I got this little baster here, or this little pipette, and I just kind of keep in the water and I give it a few good sprays, a few good jets. And that helps if there's anything in there to clean it off. Sorry, I'm not good at multitasking, guys. So I'm gonna flip it over here. I haven't really seen anything fall off, but I mean the tanks these corals come from are pretty dang clean, so. Not too worried about it, but spend all this money on coral, you can never be too cautious with it really. I mean, this is a pretty easy step. Now I did get this Bayer Advanced Insect Killer from my local Home Depot, and I got it during the winter time because it was half priced, and I soon after found out that Home Depot was no longer carrying the Bayer Complete Insect Killer. I know Lois still sells it, but Home Depot does not. Maybe different in other people's areas. I don't know. All right, so there we go. Just gonna wash it around a little bit. Now, if you can, try and keep your other hand out of the insect killer. I know it's kind of hard to do, but wear the gloves so you don't get it on your hands. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the little frag now that I cleaned it out, and I'm gonna stick it in the first salt water rinse. Now the reason why you have two saltwater rinses is, is you're taking the insect uh, salt water or the bare insect killer salt water from this bucket. It's still on the frag. You're putting it in here. Now this water is contaminated with the uh, the insect killer. However, it's dispersed throughout that. And now you're going to have your second rinse container. So I'm going to do here is I'm going to use the hand that I didn't dip in that bucket. I'm gonna grab this frag, wash it around a little bit, just kind of rinse everything off of it. I'm gonna put it in the second one. I'm gonna let it sit there for a minute. Everything still looks good. I'm gonna kind of wash it around in this one. And you're gonna take its original water and back in you have it. All right, guys, so that's how I dip my corals. Uh, I know some people say, I leave the coral in there for 10, 15 minutes. I don't see a necessity. Uh, I'd probably do it for about a two minute, two minute rinse, uh, jetting it with a little pipette. And if you have a coral plug still attached, what I like to do is I got this little brush here that I use only for the dipping. Now, when it's in there, I'll kind of scrape the plug off and right around the base of where the coral's at and that will help hopefully knock loose any eggs or anything that could be hiding on this coral plug but i like taking most of my coral off the plugs before putting them in the tank anyways so now that that's dipped that's my way of doing it uh, if you guys have any concerns with how i do it any questions about how i do it uh, where i came up with the two-thirds cup for the insect killer which i think is uh, kind of a conservative use of it I know other people that just go all out and they'll put a full full cup in there. Um, they've had success so far. I think I've had success. There's no pests in my tank that I know of or that I've seen yet. So, yeah, that's how I do it, guys. Like always, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys think. And I hope you got something out of this.